Oi, Mackenzie! It is Chief Detective Mackenzie to you, D.I. Dalton. I am your superior, not your drinking buddy. Anyway, meet Jane Doe. Body was found right in this spa by Diego the dog. The owner, Maria, which by the way, I have asked out on a date and exchanged numbers. Lovely lady. Blonde hair and all, super fit, and... The body, Dalton. The body. Oh, right, right, so, um, decapitated. Anything else I have not noticed yet? Well, uh, fingerprints burnt, no idea of any sort. Enlighten me. What do you think that means? Um... I don't have all day, Dalton. Oh, I know, it means... means the killer does not want the body to be identified. Why do you ask me if you're going to answer for me anyway? Do not try to act smart with me. Even with a clue, you still won't get it right anyway. So tell me, what was the victim wearing? <laughs> not Primar, that's for sure, like. Your point? She's wearing expensive clothes, like. Mark Jacobs or something. I read a lot of uh, fashion magazines. You always see fit women in them. <sighs> Lord, give me the patience to deal with this fool. I take it as if you haven't asked if there's any CCTVs around this area. I don't see any CCTVs around me. I'm not sure. Just please go have a coffee or something. Step off the scene for a while, find something to do. Stop faffing around and do some work. In fact, find out about CCTVs in this area now. Be useful, would you? Did I know? Uh, just a few questions before I go. Ask only if they're sensible. Why don't you use contractions? Is it almost like when you speak, you're writing a formal letter? I'm not answering that. Go, please. What's with the camera like? Do you put up in a scrapbook or an album of crime scene photos? Because that's just creepy. Me. The devil is in the details. I make sure I take note of everything I see. I take pictures of the body and everything around the crime scene. It is a way of capturing the moment and the essence. You see, there are some things that as detectives we may miss when we visit the crime scene. Things hidden at plain sight. The point here is, maybe a few months down the line or even years into the investigation, those pictures and notes that I took may actually help break the case wide open. It is common professional detective practice. You should try it. Are you even listening to me? I don't know why I bother with you sometimes. I am dot C24 talking. Take notes. We need trooper assist on 1808. All that you can spare. Then run a missing female report. Atrium 25 to 40. Caucasian. About 5 foot 6 or 5 foot 7. Narrow it down also to tattoo left calf. Have a look at any reports of detached body parts found in the past 2 to 3 days. Information on my desk as soon as you get it. Copy. Roger that. Now, we are done here. Go home, Dalton. I will see you at the pathology lab tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. sharp. That's grand now. You hear me? 10 a.m. sharp. Not 10 one or 10.30. 10 o'clock. And trust me, I will be keeping an eye on my watch. I have better things to do than wait for you. What an arse. Poisoned? Affirmative. We find extremely high level of sedatives in the victim's blood. Should we wait for D.I. Dalton? No. Go on. It's not like he is actually invested in an investigation. Keller must have made her drink a concoction of sedative laced drink. Almost instant death. No pain inflicted. Seems he had at least a tiny bit of care for the victim, which suggests the killer may know the victim to an extent. I would think so, yeah. Killing her, cutting her head off and disposing the body was a necessary evil for the killer, even though he had some sort of appreciation for the victim? I wonder what's the reason behind all of this? Seems rather odd. Maybe he had someone else to do the dirty job of mutilating her and disposing the body. I have to say that does make more sense. Someone who kills someone with sedatives would probably not cut a body up or burn fingertips. Anything else? Well, the lab found in her pink coat, fibre shed and fuzz of what seems like some sort of carpet. Cream coloured. 
They looked at the fibre and some chemical. Maybe a detergent solution had been recently sprayed onto it. I was told they did some research on this. They call this absorbent pad cleaning. It's done to buff and clean the carpet. When using the vacuum, fibre is bound to be shed, along with fuzz. How did the fuzz get on the coat? Good question. I also found in the victim's clothes dog hairs. Thin, cream coloured, fairly long. Most likely a big dog. Some sort of Labrador, maybe? You'd be. No signs of struggle of any kind. Nails clean, polished. Teeth look as white as they can be. Skin's flawless. She looks like she really took care of herself. And the clothes are designer. You might have noticed. Stomach contents. Looks like eating an hour or two before death, as the bites of steak bourguignon are still clearly that. So what do we got here now? Jesus Christ, Dalton. You're late, by the way. I'm not late. My phone says ten. It is ten past ten. I clearly said ten o'clock sharp. See what I have to go through with this guy. It is just detestable. Detestable what? Man, whatever. You're always just so grumpy. Ignore this guy. Dr. Clark, continue. 